I took a stroll down the old long walk on the day I, 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 I met a little girl and we stopped to talk on a grand soft day I, And I asked you, friend, what's a fella to do? Because her hair was black and her eyes were blue And I knew right then I'd be taking a whirl Down to Salt Hill Pond with the Galway girl She took me up to a flat downtown on a grand soft day I, And I asked you, friend, what's a fella to do? Because her hair was black and her eyes were blue So I took her hand and I gave it a twirl And then I lost my heart to a Galway girl I was all alone With a broken heart and a ticket home And I asked you, friend Oh, what would you do If her hair was black and her eyes were blue See, I traveled around I've been all over the world Boys, i never seen nothing like a Galway girl With the Joyce Country Caleb Band Playing away and we're doing grand Well if we're singing a song won't you give us a hand Cause we're the Joyce Country Caleb Band Friday night off we go Tune the fiddle strain the bow Oh, oh, we take it handy for the first few sets Sure, there's hardly anyone listening yet And we're the Joyce Country Caleb Band Playing away and we're doing grand Well, if we're singing a song, won't you give us a hand? Cause we're the Joyce Country Caleb Band and Mary out on the floor Well they never lost it That's for sure In his bathroom shoes And his dad's white shirt She has a brand new Perum and a pleated skirt And we're the Joyce Country Caliban Playing away And we're doing grand Well if we're singing a song won't you give us a hand Cause we're the Joyce Country Kelly Band Bit of Kelly We do do's and functions A weddings and wigs oh, shaka laka laka weddings and wigs Meats and salads Buns and cakes oh, shaka laka laka buns and cakes Well if you need a few just give us a call Oh, shakalaka-laka, give us a call For the house, the pub, or the parish hall Oh, shakalaka-laka, parish hall And we're the Joyce Country Kekele Band Kekele, Band Playing away and we're doing grand Kekele, Band Well, if we're singing a song, won't you give us a hand Kekele, Band 
Was where the choice country came about Oh, there's a princess on the floor all night Mona, Mona, Carna Mona She can fairly throw them ships all right Mona, Mona, Carna Mona Oh, how are you mad, are you on your own? Mona, Mona, Carna Mona How are you fixed for a seat back home? Cause we're the choice country Caliban The Gaelic Grounds this afternoon. We have the primary school mini games between Ballylanders and Drumcolor Broadford. Five minutes aside, just before the county senior football final for 2008, we just saw uh, Bruff getting through to the junior county final, defeating Glen. And this game is underway with Ballylanders in the middle of the field. There now with Michael Sean Farrell. Great afternoon for these young upcoming heroes from Drumcolor Broadford and Ballylanders. A lovely day in the Gaelic grounds. Drum colour brought for now. Andy attacking the shot in there, and it's gone. And it's good save inside by the goalkeeper there, Sean McGrath. Drum colour Bradford still on the, the attack over there, Dennis Dunnigan. Ball across there, was well dealt with inside by the Ballylanders. Full back there, Aaron now Breen. Ballylanders coming out of defence now. Nice thought to hand over the far side of the field from Darren O'Hengisa. Drum colour brought for now back on the attack. Once again there, it looks like Matthew Daly has it now, it's up to a shot in there and that has gone to the right and it's gone wide. So two minutes gone and it's no score to Belly Landers and no score to Drumcolor Broadford. He out from the goalkeeper there, Sean McGrath. Drumcolor Broadford back in the attack, a great block down there. From the John Kiley there from Bally Landers and still waiting for the first score. And Drum Colour brought for now over the far side of the field. Good play, taught a hand over there. And a nice hand passing over the head there of the Drum Colour Bradford corner forward. It looks like it could be Dennis Dunnigan over there. Can't see with the numbers on the jersey, but Drum Colour Bradford still on the attack now. Shot in well blocked over there by the cornerback Dylan Noonan for Bally Landers. So the big question is, uh, can Drumcolor Bradford avenge that defeat uh, last year? Well, they did not play well, so will this primary schools game could be an indicator for things to come this afternoon in Drumcolor Bradford? On the attack yet again, nice hand passing there for Drumcolor Bradford centre field in the centre fours. Drumcolor Bradford still going through, ball across and a shot, and it's gone to the right and it's gone wide. Good scoring opportunity there for Drumcolor Bradford. Going to the right of the post, then going wide. So the kick out from the Ballylanders goalie, Sean McGrath. So good attacking play for Drum Colour Bradford, but a good interception back there. A chance here now for Drum Colour Bradford, but well saved inside by the goalkeeper, Sean McGrath. Yet again, passes is out there now to the Ballylanders. Half hour line back around the half back line, and the referee has seen the foul over there, and it's going to be a free to Ballylanders over the far side of the field. Ballylanders trying to get their first attack going. This afternoon, nice play there in the centre field, <laughs> nice hand pass over the head there of the Drum Colour Bradford centre field man. So Pelly Landers first attack, can they score on their very first attack? Goes up there now to Edan O'Brien. It's a good looking shot, it's going around the small parallelogram, kept inside there, but well kept back there by the Drum Colour Bradford back, John Matthews, and it's gone out. And it's going to be 45 uh, 2 Pelly Landers. Still waiting for the first score, but the referees said it's wide, so they'll kick out. And Drum Colour Bradford on the attack again. Up there now. 
And there's a good tussle there between the centre back for Bally Landers, Cullen McGrath, with Jim Cullen Bradford. Have it now, but Bally Landers win it back yet again with the corner back there, Dylan Noonan, being closely attended to there by Glenn McNamara. The half back now, it's Eamon Mahuna from Bally Landers trying to gather the ball, but closely attended to there by Sean O'Sullivan for Drum Cullen Bradford. Billy Foley. Good ball up from Billy, but well intercepted. Drum Colour Bradford have it again, no good play there. Looks like uh, Seamus Flanagan, a dangerous ball in, but the Bally Landers goalkeeper has it again inside. Sean McGrath. Sean finds no one but the Drum Colour Bradford centre field man. It could be a good shot in, and that is tailed to the right, and it's gone wide, so we're still awaiting the first score of this primary school's encounter in Ballylanders with Dylan Noonan for Ballylanders that's a good hand pass good interchange there between Aaron Noonan and Ballylanders are on the attack can they get the first goal in the primary school's encounter here in the Gaelic grounds ball in there now from Kirano Kelly good catch inside Ballylanders just going through twisting and turning he shoots it looks good it's high and it's over the bar from Eamon Omahuna from Ballylanders and it's the first goal in uh, an appreciative crowd here in the Gaelic grounds this afternoon, appreciating that score there from the halfback, Eamon O'Mahuna. So Cantrum Colourhead Bradford reply with Seamus Flanagan. Great play there from Young Flanagan. A hand pass there. And Drum Colourhead Bradford uh, trying to reply straight away. Flanagan's still going through the shot here. It could be a good, good goal scoring opportunity or even a point, and it's gone to the right. And it's gone wide. It might have been Dennis Dunnigan that took that shot. So Sean McGrath with the kick out over to the far side of the field to Conor O'Finnichta for Ballylanders leading by one point to no score in the Gellagons and this is a good uh, attack from Ballylanders, great thought to hand, great skill Sun in the highs of the Drumcolor brought for goalkeeper there Callum O'Donoghue but the ball has gone to the left and it's gone wide and it'll be a kick out to Callum and Drum Colour Bradford, who trailed by one point to no score. Lovely sunshine here in Park Nagel this afternoon. Ballyanders on the attack again, a dangerous ball in there as well. It head is inside a shot, a brilliant save from the goalkeeper there, Callum Donahue. Looks like it could have been from uh, Darren McCarthy, but Ballyanders are still on the attack, and that is definitely gone out for the first 45 of the afternoon. So this 45 now going to be taken by Dylan Noonan from Ballynanders. Goes to school in Ballynanders National School. It's a good kick from Dylan. Can the drum corner have profit defence deal with it inside? No, it's that tricky corner forward again. Inside to the Ballynanders, another chance of a score here. And that looks good. It's high and it's over the bar from the centre field man, Kieran O'Kelly. From Ballynanders and they lead on a scoring of two points to no score. So drum corner Bradford yet to score in this first half. Callum O'Donoghue making a fantastic save there a little few minutes ago. So Drum Colourbroff, can they get their first score this afternoon? The full forward there, Darren McCarthy. Still going through a shot from McCarthy, but that's tailing to the left and it's gone wide. So it's all Barry Landers at the moment here in Park Nagel. So Billy Foley for Drum Colourbroff for Tort Hand. Well picked up by Billy. A kick from Billy that looks as though it's gone out over the sideline. Tried to be kept in there by Seamus Flanagan. So it's going to be a line ball to Ballylanders. And that man down there, Dylan Noonan. Kick from Dylan inside and it's well. Well dealt inside by John Matthews from Drumcolour Bradford. And they're on the attack now. Can they get their first score be coming up to the halftime interval? Drumcolour Bradford now on the attack. There's people inside looking for it. A good ball inside, but it's um, mishandled by the Drumcolour Bradford. So half hour it looks like Glenn McNamara and Belly Landers trying to come out of defence and it's a high ball there, it's going to be gathered there by LB O'Kyla and Belly Landers on the attack yet again seeing the footballer just down below me of Landers from Colour Bradford just watching these 
up and coming youngsters um, play and surely they're going to be big parts to play in the future of the senior clubs of Drumcolour, Bradford and Ballylanders. So, Drumcolour, Bradford on the attack. Can they get their first score? Ballylanders still leading in the scoring. Two points to no score. John Kiley, an intelligent ball into the centre of the field. Washington's around for the Ballylanders centre field man. Great sidestep. Still taught to hand from the Ballylanders man. There's a man inside free. That man is being named in Omahuna, but it's well intercepted back there by the Drumcolour, Bradford. Uh, corner back, it could, looks like it could have been Jack Ryan. It's a good play there from Shane Murphy for Drum Color Bra for the ball inside now. Can they get that first goal in over the head? And it's gone to the left and it's gone wide. So maybe maybe they're just going to play one ten minutes instead of switching sides. And we'll see now with the referee down there, Eamon Madden of Clahan. So Sean McGrath from Ballylanders with the kick out. I must say that Ballylanders have probably been the better of the two teams. It's still a fantastic uh, day for these young lads. Play here in Park Naguil in Limerick. And let's hope that they'll see many more days here in Limerick. Don't call our ball for now on the attack. It looks like it's Seamus Flanagan. Very skillful player, Seamus Flanagan. Turning to the left, turning to the right. A ball inside and it's another brilliant save inside by my by McGrath, the Ballylanders goalkeeper. And it looks as though it's gone to the left and it's gone wide and it's another fantastic save inside there by Sean McGrath. And they still lead on a scoreline of two points to no score. McGrath with the kick out and four is there for Drumcolour Bradford. But Conor Granny has it now for Drumcolour Bradford, twisting and turning. Conor, ball inside but there's no one inside for Drumcolour Bradford and it's gone to the right and it's gone wide. A little over 20 minutes to go to the big match here in Park Naguil this afternoon. But at the moment we'll watch the primary school children of Ballyn Anderson from Colour Bradford battle it out here to see who gets first honours this afternoon. At the moment it's going in Ballyn Anders' direction as they lead in a scoring of two points to no score. But a goal for Colour Bradford will possibly win it from him. It's a great ball inside into good defence back there from Dahi O'Noonan and it's going to be a f another 45 to Drumcolour Bradford it looks to be taken by uh, Seamus Flanagan we don't know how much time is this the referee going to play but we'll wait and see Conor Granny with the ball inside down to Seamus Flanagan. Great player from Seamus Flanagan. He definitely is the best looking player on the show for Drumcolour Bradford. But that shot from Seamus has tail to the right and it's gone wide. The kick out from Sean McGrath doesn't find the Ballyn Anders player but finds the Drumcolour Bradford player on the ball inside. A dangerous ball inside. Can Seamus Flanagan get it? Hand pass, can Drumcolour Bradford get a score? They're going through. Taught to hand. It's Great defence back there by the Ballylanders. I see the corner back, the corner forward, uh, Connor Finnector back there defending and a good ball in. There's a goal here for Drum Colour Bradford. He can do it. A shot and a brilliant block inside again by the, the Ballylanders of Aaron Noonan for Ballylanders. Drum Colour Bradford still in the attack scene. Lot of ball but not putting the position into scores and the ball inside and it's inside and it's a save. It's a fantastic save by the goalkeeper just on the line and it's cleared out for another 45. Another fantastic save there from Sean McGrath. Great chance for Drumcolour Bradford, but it's gone for a 45. So, uh, a nice crowd gathering in Park Naguil this afternoon. The ball in, can Drumcolour Bradford get the goal that could possibly win them the game and give the the red number something to cheer for before the county senior final. Number 12 there for Ballylanders, Darren O'Hang is uh, beaten to the ball and that's another wasteful wide from Drumcolour Bradford who have had three quarters of the position but have not turned that position into scores this afternoon. So we'll see what's left. The referee and the, ref the referee has blown it up. It looks like it could be half time or it could be all over. We've yet to see but maybe there's another five or ten minutes to go. But I think it's all over and Ballylanders have won this primary schools encounter on a scoreline of two points to no score 
fantastic displays there from Bally Landers, from Eamon O'Mahuna, especially Sean McGrath and goals. Callum Montonoff from Colour Bradford makes some fantastic saves. And uh, my player of the match would have to be Seamus Fannigan, a fantastic game, but it was unlucky not to um, score a few points. And I'm sure the Colour Bradford teams now and the Bally Landers team are going to go and wait for their heroes, their senior heroes, to come out onto the field. Bally Landers and Drumcolour Bradford. Bally Landers coming out onto the field, being greeted by the primary players who have just beat Drumcolour Bradford by two points to no score. Pitch in immaculate condition after county football junior final, semi final between Glynn and Brofish, Brof and Handley. I'll give you the Bally Landers line out. Declan O'Connor's in goals. The full back line of Connie McSweeney, Liam Martin, and Shane Fox. Half back line, Stephen Walsh, Patrick Fox and Tom Fox. Centre field, Johnny Murphy and Willie Kiley. Half forward line, Jimmy Barry Murphy, Stephen Fox and Kieran O'Callaghan who caused so much damage last year here in Park Niguel. Full forward line, Mike Mansell, Danny Murphy the captain of the team and Mike O'Brien lining out at number 15 but don't be surprised if we see Mike Rome out to our own midfield. Just waiting now for the drum colour Bradford team to come out onto the field. Waited down there by the drum colour Bradford primary school team. I see Seamus Loudon down there, Kieran Ryan, Kathleen Barry and Morris Brown. All waiting now patiently for drum colour Bradford who were absolutely annihilated here in the Gaelic grounds last year and hopefully from Cutter Bradford can make amends from that disastrous 2007 county final. And the pipe band down below me getting ready. Fantastic occasion at any county final, it'll be football or hurling. It's a fantastic occasion in the Gaelic grounds in Limerick. Sun shining, breeze possibly blowing from right to left, and the cameraman waiting for Drum Cutter Bradford now to come out onto the team. And down below me is. Dennis Lanoonan, who was a selector last year with the team, and as we know, there's been big changes in Drumcolour Bradford. Morris McCarthy stepped down as manager. The reins been handed over to John Bruder. Ned English was brought in as trainer. Selectors were Mike Fahey, Mike Quaid, and in the backroom team, Gary Noonan, Jim Barry, Christina McCarthy, and also Moss McCarthy, who still is possibly a vital role to play in the stand giving down. Tactics to John Bruder and just landed here beside me is my calm commentator Janine, but he's just having a, a drink of water after a long walk from the pub. So he's having a rest before he gives his uh, analysis of the game this afternoon. And I just see the national school kids down below me welcoming Drum Colour Bradford out onto the field, led by the team captain Thomas McLaughlin from Bradford. And I'll give you the drum colour her Bradford line out. In goals, it's Eamon Scollard. Full back line, D. O'Leary, Tommy Stack, and Mikey Clancy. The half back line, Neil Conway, Tom McLaughlin, who leads the team once again, and Owen Barry, a newcomer to the team, making his first county final senior appearance. Centre field, Patrick Donnelly, and the experienced Jason Stokes. The half forward line, ever improving, Derry McCarthy, starboard forward, Michal Reedy, and Sean Buckley. And in the full forward line, Gary Egan, Ray Lynch, and Garrett Noonan. And I think now my core commentator and my man that's going to give the analysis this afternoon is uh, after a fine break now after his lovely pint of port in the Woodfield House. John, another fantastic occasion this afternoon. Yes, Mike, we're delighted to be back here again in the fifth county final of the Century 2000 from Colourhead Bradford taking part in. It's a beautiful day after a terrible year, but the conditions here are heavy and soggy but at least the sun is shining one scribe during the week said the score would be 1-7 to 6 points he didn't say who'd win but I would be inclined to believe him we had the drum colour Bradford team out there doing their warm up led by Captain Tom McLaughlin 
If Tom and Drunkard are brought for the successful today, Tom will go down in history as have, have captain his club to four Limerick County Senior Football titles. The first man ever to do it. Also making his debut here today would be Owen Barry. A big day for him. A tight marker. And we wish him the best. A terrible beating last year by 13 points. Can we pull it back? Certainly the addition of Tommy Stack and Jason Stokes will be a, a big addition to the team. Also making his full debut will be Derry McCarthy, although Derry came on as a sub in last year's game. Of course, we must not forget Dano, young Dano, was the course of his work took, has taken him to Narwa and is missing today. I'm sure he would like to be here to make amends for that terrible defeat last year. There's no doubt that Kieran O'Callaghan, who was so prominent in that game, will take some watching today. Both himself and Jimmy Barry Murphy in the half forward line. And of course, we must not forget Mike O'Brien, who was penciled in there at corner forward. But I wonder will he start there? Many folks think this may be the last round up for some of our the Drum Bradford players, but still none of them have passed the age of 30 and there are still maybe a few more good years. Yes, John, thanks for that. A little over now, five minutes to the throwing here in Park Naguel in Limerick. Both teams looking very fit indeed. Mike O'Brien, as John said, starting there in the corner forward position, but uh, will probably roam out about centre field. But don't know how long Mike will last. He's been carrying a serious injury for the last uh, few months. We'll see how he gets on this evening in Park Naguel. Just looking at the drum corner brought for line out in goals, Eamon Scollard. What a fantastic star what Eamon has been for the club. Been there for the very, for the very first county novice final. And a fantastic goalkeeper, has given great service down through the years. One wishes Eamon the best of luck. This could be his last county final for Drum Colour Bradford, married now, and his wife expecting a child in the near future. I'd like to wish Eamon and his uh, wife the best of luck. Fantastic goalkeeper, wore the green and white colours for Limerick for so many years, and a fantastic sportsman and a, and a pure gentleman. Great to see Tommy Stack and Jason Stokes back in the drum colour of Bradford colours. Jason Stokes out last year due to injury and Tommy Stack out. Uh, Tommy, I think, was out in Australia at the time and couldn't commit to the drum colour of Bradford cause last year. But let there be no doubt that these two players are a fantastic addition to the team this year. Also, Derry McCarthy, who came on as a sub last year. Fantastic hurler. Fantastic athlete and a fantastic man to, to get a score in any difficult position. A lot will depend on Michal Reedy at centre forward. Michal has been drafted out to centre forward this year. Always played inside in the corner, but a, a new lease of life for Michal since he's gone out around the 40 and, and was a man of the match performance I had. I did not see the match against uh, St. Sinan's in the semi final. Some fantastic scores. I'm sure Drum Colour brought for a hurting and hurting badly from last year's defeat. Really did not get going after the first 10 or 15 minutes. It was all Drum Bradford and then it was one-way traffic. And that led to Morris McCarthy handing over the reins to John Brewer. But as, as usual, Mass is down there at the back of the goals. And let's not forget the, the amount of work Mass has put into this Drum Colour Bradford team from the year they won the Novice County title against Capamore down in Croom. He's been there ever since and won many a county final. Great player himself in his day, but due to a knee injury, probably didn't play as long as he could. But when Wallace was called, and even with a, a knee injury, he was always there to play for the junior A or the junior B teams. Drunk Hunter brought for Brad in Ned English this year into the setup to help the likes of John Bruder along the way. Haven't seen Drum Colour Bradford play this year, but I'm led to believe by Jan Neenan that they're 
their hand passing game and John he's turned it around a bit Ned since he came to the club yes we mustn't forget Ned English manager of the team um, not everyone would agree with Ned's style of football but uh, he's a great man a great believer in the hand pass and uh